Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today you are going to continue your lesson in Unit 2. The topic is this. So you can refer to your textbook, page 29. The title is A Special Day. You are going to do a writing skill. So at the end of this lesson, you can write a description of a celebration or special day. Read the description. This is in your textbook, page 29. The title is The Notting Hill Carnival by Tom St. Lucas. Okay, let's read together. Every year in London, there's a big celebration called the Notting Hill Carnival. The carnival is in August and the people in it celebrate Caribbean culture. In the carnival, there are big parades in the street and there's Caribbean food. People make costumes for the parades. They also play music and dance in the streets. It's noisy, but it's also friendly. I don't usually wear a costume, but I always watch the parades. I also dance because I really like Caribbean music. It's a lot of fun. Now, from this description, I would like you to look at three new vocabulary. There are celebration, parades, and costumes. What are they? Now, let's find the meaning of the three vocabulary together. Okay, the new words are number one, celebration. Celebration in Malay is perayaan ataupun sambutan. In English, the meaning is a special event that people organize in order to celebrate something. Maksudnya, a special event, acara yang istimewa that people organize yang orang anjurkan in order to celebrate something untuk meraihkan sesuatu. Iaitu inilah celebration, perayaan atau sambutan. Okay, next. Parade. Parade in Malay means perarakan. Okay, perarakan atau perbarisan. Okay, in English, the meaning is a public celebration of a special day of, or event, usually with bands in the streets and decorated vehicles. Maksudnya, a public celebration, perayaan uh, awam yang diadakan beramai-ramai of a special day or event dalam sesuatu acara yang istimewa atau hari yang istimewa usually selalunya with bands ada uh, kumpulan muzik in the streets dekat jalan and the corrected vehicle that ada kenderaan yang dihias cantik okay next costume costume the meaning in Malay is pakaian untuk sesuatu acara okay in english the clothes worn by people from a particular place or during a particular historical period. Maksudnya, pakaian, the clothes worn yang dipakai by people, oleh orang from a particular place, dari tempat-tempat sesuatu, uh, tempat-tempat tertentu or ataupun during atau ketika a particular historical period. Ketika um, jangka masa sejarah okey tertentu okey next exercise let's fill in the blanks okey look at the key phrases you can find this in your textbook also okey talking about a celebration okey fill in the blanks how to fill in the blanks first you must find the clue from the description kita kena cari dia punya clue dalam description yang awak baca tadi okey for example number 1 there's a celebration called find the same sentence in the description cari ayat yang sama yang ada dalam description for example celebration called okey kat mana ada perkataan celebration called okey Dekat paragraph 1, perenggan 1, line number 1. Ada perkataan celebration cult. So, find uh, the next sentence. Cari apa ayat selepas celebration cult. Okay, ini untuk nombor 1. 
the Notting Hill Carnival. So, yang ini jawapan untuk number one, fill in the blank. So, the answer is, there's a celebration called, okay, the Notting Hill Carnival. Ada perayaan yang dipanggil Notting Hill Carnival. Okay, number two, people celebrate. Okay, where's the center? Mana, I, uh, mana ayat that uh, people celebrate? Okay, still in the first paragraph. Masih ada dekat paragraph pertama. But third line. Baris yang ketiga. People in it celebrate. Caribbean culture. Okay, so yang garis awan hijau tu jawapan dia. Okay, number three. There are. Okay, there are. Okay, lepas tu ada in the street. Okay, so yang tengah-tengah tu. Jawapan dia, big parades. There are big parades in the street. Ada perarak, ada uh, perarakan yang besar-besaran dekat jalan. Okay, number four. It's a lot of, okay, it's a lot of fun. Okay, now let's look at the words also. Tengok perkataan also. Apa maksud also? Also dalam bahasa Melayu juga. Ataupun similar mini maksud yang sama dalam bahasa Inggeris to T O O bukan T W O T W O maksudnya dua yang ni T O O to maksudnya juga okay you can find in the description there are three words also there number one number two and number three okay now I show you how to write also in sentences macam mana cara nak Tambah perkataan also dalam ayat. First, also before action verb, verb to have an adjective. Sebelum, also ditulis sebelum action verb. Okay. Dan sebelum verb to have dan sebelum adjective. Okay, tengok apa tu action verb, verb to have dengan adjective. Okay, example number one. They also play music and dance. Okay, also before action verb. Action verb play. Maksudnya, kata kerja perbuatan. Number two, I have a brother and I also have a sister. Okay, yang ni also sebelum verb to have. Sebelum verb to have, have to, verb to have. Okay, next, I am happy and I'm also funny. Also before adjective. Also sebelum kata sifat funny ni adjective. Jadi, play action verb. Have verb to have, funny adjective. Okay, next. Also after verb to be. Also yang ditulis selepas verb to be. Example of verb to be. Am, is, are. Okay, example number one. It's also friendly. Number two. There's also like singing. Number three. I'm happy and I'm also funny. So, verb to be is. Singkatan dia jadi it's. Lagi satu, there's. Lagi satu, I'm. Okay, ada contoh lain. There are. Okay, there are. Jadi yang ini also selepas uh, verb to be. Okay, now let's proceed to the next exercise. Let us choose exercise 4 in your textbook. Okay, look at the words in blue. In the text, tengok balik perkataan yang warna biru dekat text tadi, perkataan biru tadi, perkataan dia also. Okay, how do you say also in your language? Dalam bahasa awak, awak panggil also tu apa? Okay, yang macam saya cakap tadi, also kita dalam bahasa Melayu, kita sebut juga. Then, choose the correct words. Sekarang kita pilih, mana perkataan yang betul? Okay, number one, we buy presents. Okay, lepas tu, we have also atau we also have a. Family meal. Okay. We buy present. Kami, eh, kita beli hadiah. We we have also. Kita juga, we also have. Kita juga, a family meal. Dia pun beli makanan uh, untuk keluarga. Dia beli hadiah dan dia juga beli uh, makanan untuk keluarga. Jadi, kat sini kita kena pilih. We have also atau we also have. Macam saya cakap tadi. Also kena tulis sebelum verb to have. Yang ni verb to have dia have lah. Okay so the answer is we also have. Okay next number two. 
There are fireworks. Ada bunga api. Okay, sekarang kena pilih. There's also atau there also is. Tadi saya cakap also kena letak selepas verb to be. Verb to be ada is, ada am dengan are. Jadi kat sini there's also. Okay, number three. I like school but I also like the holidays. Okay, kat sini like verb to, uh, like ini action verb. Kata kerja perbuatan. Jadi also kena sebelum action verb. Okay, number four. My birthday is in April. My sister's birthday, okay, also is in April or is also in April. Okay, kat sini kita tengok ada is. Bila ada is, jadi verb to be, my sister birthday is also in April. Okay, is dulu baru also. Okay, let's look at exercise 5, page 29. This is writing. You are going to write a description. Okay, so follow this writing guide. Awak akan buat description atau teks mengenai celebration ataupun special day. Jadi, awak kena ikut writing guide. Okay, writing guide ni maksudnya panduan untuk menulis. Okay, example. You must follow the step. A, task. Tugasan dia, write a description of a celebration or special day in your town or country for a website. Awak kena buat description ataupun cerita tentang perayaan atau hari istimewa dekat bandar awak atau dekat negara awak. Lepas tu, B, think and plan. Awak kena fikir dan rancang. Awak kena jawab soalan-soalan ni untuk jadikan awak punya description awak menarik. Okay, example number one. What's the celebration? Perayaan tu tentang apa? Okay, number two. When is it? Bila? Bila diadakan? Contoh, awak nak buat perayaan Hari Merdeka. Contohnya kan, National Day. When is it? Bila? 31st August kan, every year, setiap tahun. Okay, number three. What do people do? Biasanya orang buat apa masa tu? Okay, there are parade. Okay, uh, apa lagi? Ada, uh, apa eh? Per costume, different, uh, colorful costume. Okay, okay number four. What do you usually do? Awak, awak selalu buat apa waktu tu? Sama ada awak tengok dekat TV ke atau pergi dekat dataran mereka ke nonton kalau tak ada PKP. Okay. Number five. What do you like or dislike about the celebration? Apa yang awak suka dan apa yang awak tak suka tentang perayaan? Mungkin awak suka sebab meriah. Okay. Uh, kalau tak suka mungkin disebabkan orang terlalu ramai, sesak atau traffic jam. Okay. Next. C. Lepas awak dah rancang, awak dah tahu apa nak jawab soalan-soalan uh, yang tadi tu. Okay, sekarang rancang untuk menulis. Write. Okay, write. Tulis. Untuk paragraf 1, perenggan pertama, general information. Maksudnya, maklumat yang asal. Uh, maklumat asas. Maksud, maklumat asas, contoh. Okay, kita tengok yang tadi tu. Okay, paragraf 1. Contoh, every year in London, there's a big celebration called the Notting Hill Carnival. Ia ni maklumat yang umum, yang asas. Kita cerita apa yang berlaku setiap tahun dekat satu tempat. Okay. Um, maksudnya, secara umum lah dia tak, men, tak fokus pada satu uh, cerita yang lebih mendalam. Okay, secara umum. Okay, jadi kat sini, lepas tu cerita. Okay. Uh, Betul, perayaan tu tentang apa? Jadi contoh dia, the carnival is in August. Ha, bila dia adakan? Jawab soalan yang tadi, dekat B yang tadi tu. And the people in it celebrate Caribbean culture. Dia orang meraihkan uh, kebudayaan apa? Okay. Ha, awak cerita tentang uh, perayaan dekat tempat awak secara umum. Okay. Next, paragraph 2. Perenggan kedua. What do people do? Ha, sekarang ni kita cerita pula. Apa yang orang, orang kebanyakannya selalu buat. Ha, tadi cerita tentang satu perayaan tu secara umum. Perayaan tu apa nama dia, uh, bila diadakan, uh, dia meraihkan sempena apa. Okay? Untuk perenggan kedua, ceritakan apa orang orang dekat sana buat. Perayaan kebanyakan orang buat apa waktu tu. Okay, contoh paragraf tu ni. In the carnival, there are big parades in the street and there's Caribbean food. Jadi orang ramai ada 
perarakan, ada uh, Caribbean food, ada makanan-makanan Caribbean. Lepas tu, people make costume for the parade, diorang buat pakaian, pakaian yang uh, beragam, pakaian yang cantik, pakaian tradisional ke contohnya. Lepas tu, they also play music and dance in the street. Mereka main music, menari dekat jalan. Lepas tu, it's noisy, bising. But it's also friendly. Tapi, uh, friendly ni maksudnya kita uh, beramah mesra dengan orang semua. Okay, mereka semua peramah. Okay, uh, jadi boleh mulakan dengan perkataan in the carnival. Okay, ini contoh je. Okay, next paragraph 3. Perenggan ketiga. What do you do? Okay, sekarang ni lebih detail lagi. Tadi mula-mula perenggan satu secara umum. Perenggan dua cerita tentang orang lain. Perenggan ketiga cerita tentang diri awak. Awak ada dekat carnival tu, awak ada dekat perayaan tu. Apa yang awak buat? What do you do? Okay. Jadi contoh dia, I don't usually wear a costume. Contoh eh, awak tak pakai costume but I always watch the parades. Awak tak pakai costume yang pelbagai tapi awak tetap menonton Uh, perarakan awak sebagai penonton sahaja. Okay, lepas tu, I also dance because I really like Caribbean music. Uh, masa awak tonton tu, awak pun menari juga sebab awak suka kan uh, lagu Caribbean. Okay, it's a lot of fun. Sangat terhibur. Okay, sangat seronok. Jadi, <coughs> jadi awak boleh guna perkataan I, I usually ataupun I don't usually. Okay, usually maksudnya selalunya. I don't usually, saya tidak selalunya. Okey, jadi saya ringkaskan yang perenggan satu tadi secara umum. Perenggan kedua tentang diri orang lain. Apa yang mereka buat waktu carnival ataupun uh, celebration. Perenggan ketiga, apa yang awak buat waktu tu. Uh, macam mana awak meraihkannya. Okey, next. D. Okey, tengok balik writing guide tadi. A tadi, task, tugasan awak apa awak kena buat. B, think and plan. Awak fikir dan rancang apa yang awak nak tulis. Jawab soalan-soalan yang lima soalan tadi. Lepas tu C, awak tulis tiga perenggan. Lepas tu D, dah siap semua check. Okay, check. Present simple. Apa contoh present simple? Kan kita dah belajar present simple contohnya. Okay, tengok garisan warna biru ni. There's. Okay, there is. Maksudnya there is. There's. Kalau benda tu singular, awak guna there's. Okay, singular is. Can, the carnival is. Okay, sebab carnival tak boleh kira. Ada satu je. Okay, lepas tu. Uh, there are big parades. Okay, parades ada S. Jadi, yang tu plural. Jadi, tak boleh guna there is. Awak kena guna there are. Okay, lepas tu there's Caribbean food. Okay, makanan. Makanan tak boleh kira. Jadi, kena guna there's. Lepas tu, it's noisy. Noisy tu bunyi bising. Bunyi bising tak boleh kira. Jadi, guna it's. Tak boleh guna they are. Okay, it's noisy. Okay, lepas tu, it's also friendly. Okay, ha, yang ni pun uh, friendly. Friendly tu uh, tak boleh kira sebab dia kata sifat. Okay. Lepas tu, it's a lot of fun. Fun, keseronokan pun tak boleh kira. Jadi, awak kena guna it's. Tak boleh guna are. Okay, next. Position of also. Ha, bila? Dekat mana nak letak perkataan also tadi? Tadi dah belajar kan? Saya dah sebut. Also sama ada sebelum atau selepas. Sebelum kata verb to have. Sebelum uh, action verb. Sebelum adjective. Uh, ataupun selepas verb to be. Okay, verb to be tu is. R dengan M. Okay, jadi tengok sini verb. Uh, also ni nak letak kat mana? Okay, contoh, they also play music. Lepas tu, it's also friendly. I also dance. Okay? Lepas tu, awak kena check. Position of adverbs of frequency. Frequency ni kekerapan. Yang ni pun kita dah belajar dulu. Kekerapan contoh, usually. Okay, usually. Selalunya. Always. Selalu. Okay? I really, saya sangat. Ha, ini semua adverb of frequency. Ha, apa lagi adverb of frequency? Ini semua ulang kaji. Awak rujuk balik nota-nota sebelum ni. Okay, next. Okay, now your job is 
write your description about a celebration or special day. Awak kena buat satu description, satu cerita tentang perayaan ataupun hari istimewa yang berkaitan dengan diri awak. Jadi ingat step tadi. Okay, first awak boleh tulis tajuk. Tajuk dia boleh tulis nama celebration yang awak raikan. Contohnya hari raya celebration. Okay, anggaplah yang ni cerita ni bukan waktu PKP ya. Ha, kalau waktu PKP dah tak boleh raikan. Okay, ha, ingat balik flashback balik cerita-cerita yang lama tu. Okay, next. First paragraph, perenggan pertama. Okay, awak jarak sikit. Lepas tu start dengan ayat pertama, cerita secara umum. Okay, line kedua dengan ketiga kena rapat ke kiri. Okay, and then leave one line. Awak jarak satu baris. Okey, jarak perenggan untuk perenggan kedua. Dan seterusnya sambung macam atas. Dan sambung perenggan ketiga, paragraph 3. So, there are three paragraph. Paragraph 1, 2 and 3. Okey, I hope you can do this. If you have problem, you can ask me via WhatsApp. Okey, thank you. Bye.